the Canadian wildfire season starts earlier, lasts longer, and even continues over the winter season. So is it normal? Is there a link to climate change? We put Dr. Mike Flanagan's feet to the fire, so to say, and clear up any myths and misconceptions. Myth or truth, fires are natural. It's just a cycle. We've always had fires, and more area has burned in the past, right? Fire is natural in our environment. Our forests have grown to survive and thrive in a regime of semi-regular, high-intensity, stand-replacing, stand-renewing fire. We are seeing a lot more fire in Canada, and you talk to people who fight fire, and they say, it's changed during my career. Myth or truth, fires are not linked to climate change. A warming world does not cause fires. We've always been hot and dry. The juries come back with a decision. Humans are changing our climate. And this is having direct and dramatic impacts on the things I study, fire. People ask me all the time, why is temperature so important? The warmer we are, the longer the fire seasons are. The warmer we are, the more lightning we expect. As the atmosphere warms, the ability to suck moisture out of the vegetation, fire people call that fuel, increases almost exponentially. So unless we see more rain to compensate for the drying effect of the warming, we're going to have drier fuels. Myth or truth, fires can be blamed on people only. Arsonists cause wildfires. Lightning doesn't cause that many fires, or does it? Humans cause about half the fires in Canada. Things like power lines cause fires, railways cause fires, burning fields, campfires, burning the garbage. Arson is one of them. In Canada, generally one to four percent, depending on what year and what region you're in. And lightning causes about half the fires in Canada. It's actually been increasing as human-caused fires have been decreasing, which is good news. But lightning-caused fires are responsible for about 90% of the area burned. 